Hi everyone. I'm going to get right into the reading. I just want to quickly say that I do channel multiple energy groups on here, so only take it if it resonates. Don't try to force it to fit if it doesn't resonate. If this one doesn't, I'm sure you might be in one of my other energy groups on this channel, so check my other videos. And I really appreciate the support. Thank you guys for, you know, your likes, your comments, sharing, subscribing, helping me get back in the algorithm. Um, and I love, I love hearing your stories. I love, you know, reading your comments. So I really appreciate that. Okay. So again, this may or may not be for you. Only take it if it resonates. Let's see what the storyline is for someone out there. The star. Page of Cups. The Five of Cups. The Four of Pentacles. The Eight of Swords. Oh, someone's... Someone's trapped by their past. Somebody... Somebody is almost stagnant because of a rejection that they went through in the past or a really bad heartbreak or a divorce. This could be you. For some, this could be something that's holding you back and you need to be aware of it to clear it out. For others, this could be your person. But it's like they're in Eight of Swords energy, like victim mentality or just trapped. They're blocked. So it's like they're holding on to some kind of heartbreak, some kind of loss that occurred in the past. I think at a time when they felt like they were more youthful, more innocent, more trusting, they were the star. Tell me more about this. What's the significance here? What are you trying to say about this? The lovers, the queen of swords. Queen of cups, eight of wands. Page of Pentacles. Hmm. What are you... Okay, because I get the overall message here. Tell me about this. Because it almost feels like it's you. Not for all of you, but for a lot of you, it feels like you are this Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups. The Lovers is about a choice. And a lot of times the lovers is about like a big choice, like a being at a crossroads, like a major choice that's going to affect the rest of your life or at least the next two or three years. You are at a big crossroads right now. And I think one of the big things you're choosing is between being the queen of swords and queen of cups. And you have to kind of balance, I think, both those energies out. Don't go from one extreme to the other. I think that's the message here. It's like someone here is it's like you just came out of this period of heartbreak. You're still holding on to something from the past. So maybe it's like you were the queen of cups and you got your heart broken. Like you really, really loved someone more than anything in the world. Like you just gave your everything to them. You thought that they were your twin flame or your soulmate. Maybe they even were. But it's like you're still holding on to all that pain and all that, that like this bitterness that's kind of festered up. Um, and you know, you need to feel whatever you feel. You can't just shut your emotions out. If you're sad over something, it's good to just let yourself feel those feelings. You know, if you need to cry, just let yourself cry. It doesn't do any good to suppress those feelings. It doesn't do any good to try to force them down. Cause it's like, they're just going to come out later in uglier ways. You know, you're just going to explode later in uglier ways if you don't address them now. So feel what you feel. You know, I, I would say go with the natural flow of things. Like when I'm having a day that I'm sad, I, like, I let myself be sad. I just let myself cry. I let myself purge. I let myself be upset. I let myself be dramatic. I even have days when I just stay in bed. I let myself feel what I feel, you know, because it's like if there's something wrong and I try to ignore it, it's not like it's going to go away. It's just going to even if you're the queen of swords for a while, that energy is going to come up later. You know what I mean? Like you can be like, screw, screw men or screw women. I'm a bad bitch. Like I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be the player now after that person played me. But it's like, and you can do that for a while, but sooner or later, it, it's like, you're gonna, 
it, it, it's all going to come crashing down on you and you're going to be forced to, to face yourself and to face those emotions that you try to run from. So there's no sense trying to run from it. But I, th I think some of you have this mentality of like, I have to choose between being these two women instead of trying to find a balance, a middle ground. You know, it's like some of you just really got your heart ripped out. We know within the last year, you really got your heart ripped out by someone. Like someone really just kind of destroyed you mentally, emotionally, uh, spiritually. Like they just, they really broke your heart and you're still, there's something. And for, I mean, I think it's a person for most of you, but whatever it is, it could even be like a group of people that kind of betrayed you, um, like a coven or something that you were in, whatever it is. There's some kind of major trauma, major heartbreak that you're still holding on to you, that you're still, it, it's kind of still keeping you trapped in a way. And I feel like you're in this mentality of, it's like you have some big choices ahead of you. And some of you are in this mentality with, you know, the lovers here of, I either have to be the queen of swords or I have to be the queen of cups. Like, like you like you're you need to figure out how to balance this how to balance these two energies and not just go back and forth between like i'm going to open my heart and love everyone and maybe even move too fast with people and just be super open or i'm going to be closed off and just screw everyone like i don't need people anyway i'm just gonna i'm fine on my own i'm gonna be independent um, shutting everyone out. It's, it's like, you don't have that balance. You're going from these different extre extremes, you know, and they could even last years. You could be the queen of cups for four years. And then, you know, you just go through too much and you're like, screw it. I'm going to be the queen of swords. And you're there for two years and then you're back here. And then you're back here. You, you, you know, be both be, be find that balance between logic and emotion. Um, find that that middle ground you know what I mean like be the queen of cups around people that you can trust um, read people use the queen of swords you know you know she's not just I mean she can be cold and bitter but she can also be very intelligent very logical she observes people she reads people she discerns the situation she doesn't just dive in you know right away um, so it's kind of like, you know, merging these two, these two different, um, it's almost like these, these two sides of yourself are almost like clashing, like they're at war with each other when they're both very valid parts of who you truly are that need to come together in a more peaceful, they need to merge, they need to flow more naturally in a more balanced way. I hope that's making sense for you guys. Um... It's like, use the Queen of Swords logic, her discernment, her, the way she analyzes people, the way she, she takes her time. She is independent. She is strong. Um, and you are those things. And at the same time, you're also this Queen of Cups. You're nurturing, you're loving, you're emotional, you're empathetic, you're romantic, you're sensitive. You know, it's, it's like being both these women, being, merging these different aspects of yourself and knowing which situation is appropriate for, I wouldn't say ever being 100% her or 100% her, but knowing which situation is appropriate for which energies, you know what I mean? Like knowing when to, when it's safe to open up and knowing when it's, it's best to be logical and, and kind of wait and, and ground yourself and be balanced and patient. Um, really just learning, you know, experiment with it. You're not going to get it right, but just I think the thing is just don't let these two sides of, of who you really are be at war with each other any longer. Find find the balance. Find find that find the balance that works best for you. Find the balance that works best for you. It doesn't have to be 50-50 necessarily, but it has to be more it can't be 100% and then 100% and then, you know what I mean? It has, it's got to be even if it's 60-40 or 70-30, it's it's got to be more balanced. Tell me more about this. And it's a learning process. It's it's a learning process. It's going to there's going to be trial and error. You might get it wrong sometimes, but it's okay. You're you know, learning to become your true self. Tell me more about this.
Yeah, there was a situation where it's like you saw this person as it ended, but you, it was heartbreak. But you saw this person as your match. You were the Queen of Cups, and you saw this person as your King of Cups, your true love, your happily ever after. And eventually you had to go inward and meditate on it, and you're like, oh, this isn't what I thought it was, or this person doesn't really love me. This person is just going to break my heart. Like, it really, you ended up alone in this situation, and I think that's still affecting you. So, so again, like I said, I, I hope I'm, I hope I make myself clear that I'm not telling you to shut your emotions out. I'm not telling you to stop being emotional. Um, being emotional is part of who you are. Being a romantic, being sensitive, being empathetic, that's all part of who you are. Embrace those energies. You know what I mean? Embrace those energies. Just, just learn the, learn the balance. Um, so it's like there's a situation that you went through that's still, it's like you're still kind of heartbroken over it. I think it just, it needs to be processed. Don't go too deep into the Queen of Swords energy like, you know, screw everyone, I'm done with people. I don't want to date any, anyone ever again after that. It's like, don't go too deep into the energy. Just, you know, kind of tap into that energy a little bit. Like, okay, I'm going to be more careful after what I went through. I'm going to be a little bit more logical. I'm not just going to move so quickly again. I'm going to really take my time and take it slow to get to know someone. I'm going to listen to the red flags. I'm I'm going to balance idealism and realism. I'm, I'm going to listen to the red flags and I'm going to be logical and strong enough to, to end a connection if there are those red flags. I'm not going to just, you know, dive right in and be overly trusting or naive in this situation. But yeah, it's like it's still affecting someone. This heartbreak is still, tell me more about this. But it's like process it, feel it. You know what I mean? Like there's no sense in pretending like it's not there. Just, just, just feel it, feel the emotions, purge, cry over it. Um, acknowledge what you're feeling, but in a way that's, it, it's like tuning into the emotions and, and purging, but in a way where you're not holding on tightly to this or you're not staying in that energy. You're just allowing it to flow. You're just allowing it to purge kind of like a river. It's like, you're just allowing it to, to move through you, you know, but do what works for you. Always do what works for you because it's, you know, life all comes down to perception. What works for me, what works for others might not work for you. You've got to find your own path. You've got to find what's right for you personally. You have good energy coming in, but it's almost like you can't see it because you have anxiety or insomnia about what you went through with this other person. Like your wishes are being fulfilled, but it's hard for you. It's like you've worked for it. You've earned this. It's not like it's just automatic. You did earn, you did put the energy in to earn this, but it's almost like you can't fully see it because you're, yeah, it's, it's like you do have true love coming in. You have someone that is going to, you know, there is going to be mutual love coming in, but it's, it's like, don't sabotage this new connection just because of what the past person did. It's like you have blessings right in front of you, but you're having a hard time. It's like they've either already come in or they're coming in, but you're having a hard time noticing them. Because, like, look at this person. It's like they've got, you know, again, anxiety, insomnia. They're not even, they don't even see it. They've got all these blessings. you got the sun, the nine of cups, wishes, fulfillment. you got soulmates, twin flames right here. you got your hands over your, your face right, though. You know, sitting up in bed crying, you're not, you're not even, and again, sorry, I shouldn't have said that because it's like, if you're going to, like, you need to let yourself cry, I feel like cry when you want to cry, but it's like cry and purge and feel all those emotions, but also take your hands down, like, you know, open up your eyes, look right ahead of you. It's right in front of your face or it's about to be. And people have past, you know what I mean? Like with this new person, it's like they can't expect you to just be fully healed or fully over your past. But it's also like don't, if you got cheated on, if this per other person, you know, wanted other women more than they wanted you or something like that, don't like put that on this new person that hasn't done anything wrong to you. You know what I mean? You can express that, I think, at a certain point, you know, in a balanced way where it's like, oh, I went through this, you know, this is like just opening up. But don't be like paranoid and, 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 
assuming the worst of this new person. Yeah, devil energy. There's devil energy that needs to be healed because you don't want to let it distort your perception. Because some of you, it's like part of you is looking forward to the future and you're manifesting your best life. Two of two of wands, it's like you're really, it's like waiting, you know, you're waiting for your ships to sail and you're thinking about like the long term. You're really, um, you know, you're focused on that. But there's this devil energy too where it's like, just this distrust yeah page of wands high priestess don't let this past person block your intuition you know something that someone told me when i was in my in my i'm like 33 right now but i think i was in my early 20s when someone told me this and it's always stuck with me and it's always like it kind of changed my whole perception on things because we were talking about romance and I was actually, when, when I met this guy and was talking to him, I was in a phase where I was the queen of swords, where I was like, you know, screw everyone. I'm, I'm going to hurt them before they can hurt me. Like I was super bitter. And he was talking to me about like just his, you know, idealism and his views on romance. And I, at, at the time, you know, like I said, I was in a very different mentality than I'm in now. And I was very cold and closed off. And so I was like, well, why, why, why be romantic? Why let people hurt you like that? Why, um, why put yourself through it? You know? Um, and he said, it's not about them. It's about me. I'm a romantic. He's like, he's like, I'm a romantic. I'm idealistic. It has nothing to do with the other person. It has nothing to do with whether they cheated on me or hurt me or broke up with me. He's like, romance is an ideal that I strive for. It's it's like, it's a part of who I am. It doesn't have anything to do with what someone else is or isn't doing. It's just a part of me, you know? And that always kind of sat with me. And I feel like it's going to be like similar with you where it's like, it's not, it, it's who you are. It's part of, it's a big part of who you are. You can't ignore that part of yourself. It doesn't have shit to do with whoever this person was that cheated or hurt you. It, it's not about them. It's about you. It's about you being your true self. You're a romantic because that's that's who you want to be because that's who you truly are deep down, you know? Tell me more about this. And you're the high priestess too. Tell me more about this. You have a, ooh, you got a strong masculine energy coming in. Ooh, you got like daddy energy coming in right here, honestly. You got the emperor, the king of swords, ooh, and the magician, temperance, and you're the queen of pentacles. I think that's almost the balance. It's like maybe you've gone so, like, look up these cards too like if you're not already familiar with the definitions like look up the the meaning of the queen of swords and the queen of cups and look up the meaning like google the meaning of the queen of pentacles i almost feel like for some of you that's going to be your balance is like you're you're you've been the queen of swords and the queen of pentacles 100 percent, 100 percent, going back and forth now with this temperance energy you're manifesting this and you're you're gonna maybe the balance is you being the queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles is all about self-care um, she's stable. She's grounded. She's not overly logical or overly emotional. She's just, it's like, she's more connected to nature, to natural cycles, to earth, um, earth energy here with the pentacle. Pentacles is earth energy, but I, f yeah, I feel like maybe that's the balance for you is you're not, you're, you're going to be the queen of pentacles. Maybe that's this new energy that you're going to be tapping into. You're going to, Ooh, you're going to manifest a man with man or woman with daddy energy here. Oh, this is like sexy energy right here. I don't know if you see the King of Swords like that, but the King of Swords, the Emperor, it's like a, it's like double confirmation. Like you're manifesting a very, like a, like a genuine alpha, not one of those fake macho, ugh, no, none of that. A genuine alpha. Who's going to build with you? Who's going to want to build with you? Yeah, it's going to help you change. Yeah, you're going to have a new perspective and you're going to have the Ten of Pentacles with this person. Celebration, happiness, good times. What is this? Hmm. I feel like for some, the past person might try coming back. 
you might have a hard time deciding, but I think you're going to decide to move things from rough waters to calmer waters. For some, you might go back to the past person, but I think for a lot of you, you're like, you know what? I don't, I don't trust that energy anymore. I'm not, no. Someone's going to get rejected. Yeah, someone's going to be left single. <laughs> Justice. Yeah. This person might have done to them what they did to you, this past person. But anyway, I'm going to put this out there. So thank you guys for watching. I hope it resonates. And again, I appreciate your support, your likes, comments, shares, subscribe. Um, subscribes. God. You know what I mean. <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you for the support. Have a good day. <laughs>